I bet you've never seen one of these before. This right here is a Johnson 2 bioreactor. It basically makes really good compost. But what makes it better than the normal compost you can get at a store, or even the homemade stuff? Well for one, you don't have to turn this compost. The conventional way of making compost is as Dr. Johnson states in his interview with Acres USA Magazine, basically throwing everything out into the street and having them start all over. Every time you turn the anaerobic soil, you're disturbing the fungal community's household by bringing in air and stunting its effectiveness as a fertilizer. But with the Johnson Sioux method, the material is composted aerobically, which encourages extraordinarily high numbers of living microorganisms to promote extensive fungal hyphae formation that is disrupted by a conventional turning. And another benefit of this reactor, it basically farms microbes which, if you've watched our previous videos, would know is an important factor in plant growth. The material is composted aerobically, which encourages a complete biological breakdown of compost materials that results in microbially diverse fungal dominant product. This stuff boasts to increase carbon capture rates with 3.4 times more biomass production without the use of fertilizers, according to Johnson and Pierce 2015 study. Johnson documented that during an agricultural field study lasting four and a half years, there was a 25 times increase in active soil fungal biomass. This success passed on to the plants, doubling the bales of cotton in the area, where they averaged two and a half bales per acre. The bioreactor uses zero electricity or fuel in very little water. Composting time, depending upon location and season, is six to 12 months, 12 preferred and it can be done on every continent but Antarctica. It can use manure, food waste, garden slash field waste, tree leaves, barn litter, even wood chips of small. If it has plant cells, it basically works. And the best part is that it's cheap, designed to be constructed with simple tools and materials. You could get all the parts for it for about 40 bucks at your local hardware store making it perfect for small farmers, developing countries, and fixing an arable land. That's why we are so excited to use ours at the field station, and we can't wait to show you what it can do. What do you think about the Johnson 2 bioreactor? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching. Subscribe and follow our Instagram for more.